What's going on everyone? It's Nick here from Squarespace bringing you guys a quick little tutorial, hopefully quick. Eh? Last time I went 15 minutes, but enough of that. Um, pretty much we're going to be exploring the front row temperate template. Sorry, I can't even speak right now. It's 2.45 in the morning. So what we're going to do, we're going to make it possible for the user to see uh, previous and next arrows, text, whatever you want to do really. So if we look at the template now, the user has to click or use his arrow keys to switch between images unless it, you know it's on autoplay. But what if it's not? How does the user know that this is actually a slideshow? And they really don't unless they click the page or like I said before, arrow keys. But we're gonna make it possible so it so the user basically sees that, okay, there's another image here. I just click that and boom, there's the image. Uh, this is already enabled for us by default, but it's hidden. So we have to re-enable this using custom CSS and that's pretty much it. So let me pop open the CSS editor. Okay, I'm gonna go into Firebug, HTML mode, and inspect just an element really quick and scroll down and you'll find a div ID called simple controls. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that down and paste it into my uh, CSS editor. So let's make our brackets of course and let's go ahead and enable it. So position, absolute, importance, the Z index, let's do 990 and make that importance. And display block, sorry, important. Um, we don't need that right now. All right, so there it is. As you can see, if you click on next, it goes to the next image and it already automatically works for us. So let's go ahead and style this a bit. So in order to do that, my goal is to get the previous all the way over here and the next all the way on the right hand side of the, the page. So to do this, let's go back into Firebug. Let's hover over here. Let's expand this wrapper class and we'll notice our classes for the previous and next. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy down that. And just to be safe, paste it in there like so. All right, make our brackets. For this is the previous slide, so position absolute left zero, top zero. Uh, let's actually do the top 45%. Now it doesn't look like it really did much only because we have this div class wrapper and our simple controls needs to have a larger height. So for simple controls, do a min dash height of 100% and the width 100%. So you can't really see it, but it's definitely there, right there. So looking good so far. All right, so now let's push the text over about 30 pixels or so. So instead of left zero, let's do left 30 pixels. Okay, let's make a background color and let's do RB, sorry, RGBA mode, zero, comma, zero, comma, zero, that's black. Then another comma for the opacity, let's set the opacity to 50, let's do 70%, so 0 0.7. And end that with a semicolon like so. Let's make some padding, probably 15 pixels would do it. Depends on what you want, okay. Now let's make it rounded corners. So I'm gonna do a border radius 
Let's see if this works. 50%. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, you could do 10 pixels, 2 pixels, 0 pixels, whatever you want. I'm just going to do 50%. And I did not do that right. There we go. Radius. For those of you who don't know what I just did with this code, basically border radius makes um, rounded corners. So WebKit is for like Chrome browsers, Safari browsers, Moz is obviously Mozilla Firefox, and yeah, self-explanatory. Well, this one is the Moz is, but other than that, Google it. <laughs> okay. Let's, um, I'm going to be changing up the text in a bit. I'm actually going to make those into arrows. So now let's focus on the next. So I'm going to call out the next div class by, it's the same exact thing really. It's instead of prev dash slide, it's dot next dash slide like so. Okay, position absolutes again. Uh, this time it's going to be right 30 pixels. Top is 45%. Okay, same thing. Background color. Actually, I can just copy and paste this because I'm pretty much going to be the same thing, you know. All right, cool. I might change those into images actually later on, but we'll see. All right. I'm actually going to fix, remove this and push it all the way up because this is not, simple controls is not all the way up yet. So top zero important, padding zero important for simple controls and that's it. So now let's go ahead and disable that. So now it's simple controls dot wrapper. Let's see if this works really quick. No, it does not. All right, so color, transparent, background color, transparent, important, and it does have a padding. I'm just going to remove it just to be safe. I don't care. All right, so there we go. So now we actually disabled the feature that the user can click on the image. See, I'm clicking on the image right now, and it's not doing anything. The arrow keys are still working, and the next and previous do work. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to accomplish. I wanted to disable the, the feature so the user cannot click. And that's accomplished by setting the height to 100% and the z-index greater than the slider in the background. You can still, actually, if I change the z-index to... 990 we can now use our header and our navigation too so that's not broken okay so now let's go ahead and change the text into arrows so i'm going to open up a couple pages here i'm going to open up code at squarespace.com and i'm going to go ahead and get the jquery okay uh, you can just copy and paste this code in um, the description below on the YouTube video, of course. All right, I'm going to go into my settings and go into code injection. Paste, in it, paste the Google code in the header. And now let's go to the code site and let's search read more. Click on the first link and simply copy down this code paste it in so now basically what this is doing it targets a div class especially this in this case it's a link and it changes the text from whatever it was before let's say it was uh previous it's going to change it to put your tech put your own text here so let's go ahead and copy down the preview previous Div class call out right here. There we go. And for the HTML, I'm just going to use um, this big arrow, less than arrow, sorry. Okay, I'm actually going to copy down this code and paste it again. This time, just rename it to next dash slide 
and instead of the last do a greater than arrow and save the settings. So now if we preview this, there it is, but it does look a little bit bad. <laughs> I'm going to remove the border radius. I'm actually going to have to refresh the page really quick. Okay. Now let's fix this up a bit. So let's do, I'll do the previous one first. Font size, I don't know, 24 pixels. Font family, whatever you want. I like Oswald. Okay, let's get rid of this padding. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm liking about that. Hang on a sec. Okay, that looks fine even though it's not the correct values, but whatever, we'll play with it later. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing here. And font size 24 pixels, and the font family Oswald. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You can style it however you want. Um, before I had a couple minus and uh, plus images that I had going on and looked pretty cool, but uh, I actually enable that right now. So let me do that right now, I guess. All right, so color transparent. Same thing goes for here. Color transparent. Okay, let me upload these images. Where'd the minus go? There we go. Okay. Save changes really quick. All right, background image, URL, minus, close that off. Background repeat, no repeat. Um, width uh, 48 pixels, height 48 pixels. Let me actually refresh the page. Okay, there we go. There's my previous one. Okay, and same thing goes with the next, same process. Okay. Width 48 pixels, height 48 pixels. Now the reason why I'm choosing 48 pixels um, is because that's how you know large my image file is. Not large, you know, wide dimensions, all that good stuff. Yeah. All right. Background repeat. No repeats. And I believe that is it. So now let's see if it works. It does work. Perfect. That's disabled. Everything's good there. So that's pretty much it. There's so many different ways you can style this now. And it just allows your user slash visitor, if you want to call them, call it the person. <laughs> uh, it makes them understand that, okay, there isn't a slideshow here. I mean, not everyone knows that it's a slideshow unless, you know, it's auto playing in the background. But Pretty cool tutorial was a little quick or was a little lengthy actually to be honest 14 minutes and five seconds but whatever um stay tuned for more tutorials like this you can catch me on the website nickscroll.com and pretty much you guys know who i am already so see you guys later salute